Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second episode of uh, the Visocraft server. So, um, I was working a bit here, and as you can see, I got a little house. So, last time um, we lived in the witch hut over there, and I moved all my stuff over here. Uh, I got a little water patch here for dogs that come by and want to drink something. I got my map in the back wall here and I got my uh, bed and my storage and I thought I would build the storage area off camera because you saw me doing this in the last series and the series before so this time no episode storage building and it's this kind of the same storage as it's the same layout as I use always and this chest here in the middle is new it's from Okta and I borrowed him my Silk Touch pick so he can get some ice and he left me some ice, a diamond and some nether wall and that's super nice so thank you Okta. And for today I want to work at the end portal down there because I need an XP farm. It's painful always to go back to spawn and go into the skeleton farm and I want to do something new. So I thought let's tackle the silverfish spawner and let's see if we can make a proper XP farm out of it. So um, I need some materials uh, that I can build it off and that silverfish can't go into and I guess oops, uh, birch wood is quite nice because it's a bright color and easy to get. So uh, let me grab some birch wood and then I'll meet you down at the spawner. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little clip of me uh, getting the trees and I'm now here because uh, I forgot to show you something in the beginning and that is that I enchanted another pickaxe and this one is fortune 3 so that's awesome and I was down a moment ago and started laying out the uh, birch wood for the spawning chamber but I ran into a little problem and that is silverfish killing me um, so now I'm better prepared and got some torches on me, so I would try to light up the place as good as possible, but the problem is that silverfish spawn also in uh, yeah a bit light, and so I will see if I can do this without dying. So I need to be quick, run in here and spam torches down, and then I will explain you what my plan is. Uh, for the spawner here because you might wonder uh, what's the plan for the end portal because the end portal is here too and I laid it out so I can show you what the plan is I hope that's enough looks a bit messy now so when I light up the end portal we have nine blocks of the portal and there's another guy again um, we have nine blocks and you can destroy these blocks with a water bucket and that's what I wanted to do I want to get rid of all the portal blocks except for this one here so if you count we have one two three four um, blocks with this one um, so we can build a normal spawner room with nine by nine and we have a bit less efficiency because of these blocks and because of the portal frame but they can only uh, they can also spawn on the portal frames and we won't have the light of the portal because the portal emits light and that's the main issue uh, I guess we have a silverfish down there let's see oh the lag um, yeah so that's uh, the main plan for over here and we got another one but it's not as bad, bad as it was before so uh, now let's uh, mark out the area for the uh, actual spawn room 
so we have one two three four and then over here would be the wall like this and sadly we have to dig into the wall of this room too I can now use my oh wow that's bad leg uh, I can use my uh, fortune 2 pick as well until it breaks because we don't have any use for it anymore do we oh this is that's a spawner block yep on oh man did you see the lag there so that's what I will have to deal with for now and I really hope that I can uh, get this uh, finished super quick because time is um, not there at the moment for recording videos or doing anything YouTube related because it's close to Christmas and yeah you know it you have to do Christmas presents and uh, um, Christmas presents and um, it all takes a lot of time and that's something that's rare in the Christmas time but um, after Christmas I hope that I will have more time again for doing YouTube stuff uh, like maybe I can come up with some new things for tutorials I don't know yet um, but for now I want to get this uh, episode uh, out and I took some t uh, myself some free time now to record this and I will continue doing this now hopefully I won't die maybe I will keep recording so if I die you have some funny footage and then I will see you in yeah, just a few seconds for you so the first part is done I just have to remove these blocks here and then we have the spawning area and uh, because the silverfish can spawn like uh, normal mobs around the spawner in a it's uh, an 8x8 eight eight grid but I'm just doing 9x9 nine nine room because I'm too lazy to look at uh, the directions that uh, it's bigger and uh, so we have uh, these two blocks uh, where mobs can't spawn and these uh, seven I guess so it's almost a complete uh, room and if we are lucky that's another silverfish uh, if we are lucky um, the 8x8 grid is in this direction so we don't even lose these two blocks but I'm too lazy to look it up and now I need to go five blocks underneath the spawner because there I want to have then the uh, water stream so the silverfish drop out of the range of the spawner immediately so a <laughs> lot more digging to do and hopefully I won't run into lots of the silverfish blocks This is the end, I would die. Oh crap, that was close. Look how many there are. Whew. Uh, yeah, uh, that was close. <laughs> oh, I'm still a bit shocked. So many at one time, immediately. I thought I got them all out of the blocks. But oh wow, what happened there? Now it's the end. Goodbye. Yep, <laughs> finally I was killed. So I need to go back. And the second time, <laughs> man, these guys. <sighs> and down again. The good thing is that they despawn when I wake up at my bed, so I can go down, grab my stuff, and continue. And I don't have to eat something. <laughs> Always think positive. So the hardest part is done, I guess, uh, except for these surfers dropping down from time to time. Um, 
But there's last one last problem that I need to tackle, and that is that the silverfish can spawn on top of this portal frame blocks and we need to make them jump down because they won't jump down on their own and therefore um, I could just place blocks above but then I lose some spawning spaces but I can place some blocks below outside of the spawning area and just place some trapdoors and these trapdoors uh, are for the silverfish as uh, same as a full block and um, yeah, they would just um, try to walk on this and fall down. So we are getting them all. And I also grabbed some. Oh, I need to make this other way around. I also grabbed some water so we can place the water in. No, uh, so, some glass. Did I say water? <laughs> and grabbed some glass. I get distracted pretty easy today. Because um, I want to see. Uh, what's going on up here from below and I'll just fill this in and I'll leave the middle section open so that's where the silverfish will drop down um, so we have a nice, nice glass floor like this and then I have some water here uh, let me make an infinitive, infinite source like this and well, uh, now I can just place the water in the corners I guess you would drown Moti so like this oh, another one and now I can go down when <laughs> I get rid of the water I will just place some blocks and like this so never dig straight down I know but <laughs> I need to so I will dig a little room here so we have place to start doing the redstone stuff so this is uh, what I did so far this guy isn't actually here it was quite enjoyable to, to dig this out down here because this town wasn't disturbed by any silverfish because they're all up there but they get quite loud after a while so I went back to get some materials a moment ago and uh, they spawned already so yeah I wonder how it is without the light but that's how the room looks like and we'll have the staircase or anything like this here and we want to have the silverfish standing here so we can punch them and I already uh, made some thoughts about the redstone because uh, it's quite complicated and what I want to have of course is a turn off line where I also can turn on lights when I got them from the witch hut so this will be my turn off mechanism and um, then I will um, build a comparator fade out I need to craft the comparator still and have a piston crusher and I don't want to, to press a button to crush uh, the silverfish and I always want to have silverfish that are ready for killing so um, yeah I will craft everything that I need and then I will show you um, how it works so the main feature of the crusher are of course <laughs> hello uh, the pistons and uh, we have three of them in here, so one, two, three, and we have a half slab down here to stop them from falling down. Then our crusher block right here, and uh, another half slab up there. And I also want to place another trapdoor later where this uh, crafting table is, so I will now replace this glass block with a uh, wood block so I can place the um, the trapdoor yeah <laughs> missed the name for a second there and to wire up these pistons um, we want to have an upper input and an input down here and the trick is just that 
the input here is uh, with redstone dust and up here it's with a repeater so we can uh, put some delay on there and then we have a block redstone another here and a repeater powering both of these so when I now power this um, Maybe I can quickly wire it up to my input down there so I can demonstrate it a little bit better. Um, just like this. Um, so this, this is a normal state and when I just give a quick pulse, this one rejects first and then these. So first they will fall out of the suffocation block. Oh, lag. And uh, then the suffocation block rejects to let new uh, silverfish in. And uh, that's all there is to it, really. Uh, we now just have to make it automated. And therefore, uh, it's quite simple. We just have um, a block here that's part of a fade out. So um, I guess I will raise the ceiling one more so I can step up there and you can see better. I don't know if it's long enough in here, hope so. Um, normal fade out is with two comparators, but we will use three so we get a longer pulse. So a um, comparator facing into there, then we have redstone here, comparator, comparator, and a block, and I have to remove this torch to redstone dust. and. If I power this now, let me grab a torch, and I take the power away, it uh, goes down slowly, so we will have our pulse before it uh, retracts, and to get a new signal in there, that's super simple, we can just place a torch on the side there, then um, place some redstone like this. I already figured out that I have to put a redstone there so the signal gets a bit longer and this one needs to go one lower or will get cut off like this so we don't get the full signal in there and we need a repeater to make the signal a bit longer so like this and last thing is now to connect a uh, our turn off switch and we just use the signal there torch here redstone dust and right now it's turned on and when I turn it off it will stop so let me show you again how this works with the retraction oh that was a bit laggy <laughs> let's wait for the next one this one retracts first and then these and they can fall down so let me finish the cage around it and then we can try to test it out, I'd say. Okay, so the blocks are in place, silverfish are spawning, I removed the torches. I also placed down an enchantment table down here so I can enchant immediately. And now let's take a look at it in action. So I guess this guy isn't really here. And now I should should get these all with just one hit. If it doesn't lag too much. Oh, there are my blocks. That's nice. Yeah, and you can see they are falling down without me pressing any buttons. And I always have them one hit kill down here. And level 30. So. Yeah, it works quite well. I made slightly improvements while I uh, was uh, yeah, getting the XP. Like I placed glass here so there's light in there. And I changed the timings a bit so we now have a shorter pulse and a bigger delay between those two to compensate that. Uh, but all in all it works quite well. And now let's do the bow. I know it's quite broken. And did I mess something up with the bookshelves down here? Maybe I did. Um, or maybe there can't be blocks at this level here, so this one and this one. Let's see. 24, so still 
Um, this and this, maybe. Let's see, 28. <laughs> We're getting there. Oh, there's the block. And this block has redstone on top, so... We might change something around later on. Let me grab this now and make my enchantment. Power 4, punch 2. That's okay. Okay, then that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like down below. Likes are super important. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, share it with your friends, whatever you feel like. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.